Bonjour et bienvenue. Quebec is the largest province in Canada and has a predominantly French speaking population. Quebec's PNP is a sought after provincial nomination, but it is a little difficult to get into. Let me take you through the details of this program. Quebec is a beautiful province with a European charm where you can enjoy nature, improve your French and fall in love with heritage and architecture. A majority of the population lives either in the capital, Quebec City, or the most diverse place in the province, Montreal. So let's understand the application process. If you want to live in Quebec, there are a few indirect ways like getting a student visa, business visa or a work visa. Each of these can help you score more points for your PR application in the future. But if you want to get permanent resident status right away, there is only one direct program known as the Regular Skilled Worker Program. We will talk about this one in detail. The province has a selection grid which determines your eligibility to apply for PR there. Before submitting your application for Quebec, be sure to check your score. Remember, if you apply alone, you will need at least 50 points to qualify. If you apply along with your spouse, your score should be above 59. Now let's take a look at how the selection grid score works. The first factor is education. You can score 14 points for a doctoral degree or 12 points for masters. You will also get additional points for the area of training in which you hold a degree. For example, if you have a bachelor's degree in actuarial science, you will get an extra 12 points for that. So for education, you will score a total of 26 points. A link to the areas of training is given in the description. Next is your work experience. Quebec only considers the experience you have within the last five years. You can score up to eight points for four years experience. You will get 16 points for age if you are between 18 and 35 years old. You will get separate points for English and French language skills. It is not compulsory to take both language tests, either one will do. But if you score well in both, you will certainly earn a lot more points. For French, you need to get B2 level or CLV 7 to score 12 points. For English, you need at least CLB 5 to get 4 points and CLB 9 will give you 6. The next criteria is stay and family connections to Quebec for which you can score up to 8 points. If your spouse is accompanying you, you can score an additional 17 points based on their education, age, training and language skills. A valid job offer with LMIA will fetch you 14 points, but this is slightly difficult to get. If you have children, you get up to 8 more points. Finally, for financial sufficiency, you will get 1 point. A single person must have 3,300 Canadian dollars to show his financial stability. First, get your English and French test results. You don't need ECA. Quebec does its own assessment of foreign education degrees. Just keep your transcripts ready. Next, create your expression of interest profile on the ARIMA website and submit your application. Once your application meets the cutoff score and you are selected, you will receive a notification from the Quebec government which is known as the CSQ document. You will get 90 days to submit all the required documents for verification. After verification, you will be asked to apply for PR to IRCC with your medicals and biometrics. ARIMA is the official website of Quebec for submitting expression of interest for PR. Remember, when you start filling up your form, each session lasts for about 90 minutes. Make sure to save your work. Before starting your application, you will require certain documents like your language test results, work experience certificates and your education certificates. Keep them handy. 
Once you create your profile, it remains active for one year and you can create only one expression of interest account at a time. Quebec's skilled worker program has no relation to your express entry profile. Once you receive the CSQ, you need to submit the documents as mentioned in the instruction sheet. Remember not to submit original documents. They require only certified true copies. If you are in India, you need to get your documents attested by a notary. It will take six months for your application to be processed and verified. Once you land in Quebec, you will be helped by a government official with a personalized action plan for settlement, just like in AIPP. Remember, Quebec is a predominantly French-speaking society, so I recommend working on your French language. In fact, the province gives financial help for attending French classes organized by them, either full-time or part-time. Make use of this facility. Like Ontario, you will be covered under the province's health insurance scheme only after three months. Meanwhile, you will have to get private insurance within five days of landing. Make sure you go through the website of Quebec thoroughly to get an idea of the lifestyle and cost of living of the province. This will help you prepare and integrate better with the society. The Quebec government is quite active in helping you settle in. But at the same time, you need to put in a lot of effort as well. I hope this video has been helpful. Next, I will talk about the New Brunswick PNP. Till then, salut, abianto! Thank you.